Hello, welcome back to Spoon River Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you guys about a super simple breakfast idea for when you're out camping. Uh, we've made these quite a few times. They're, they're simple, uh, there's very little cleanup, not a big mess involved. Uh, we're gonna make some Ziploc omelets. So it'll just be an omelet that we make in a Ziploc bag. Um, it'll all be boiled. I'll show you how we go about that. I've got my water starting to heat up on the whole Coleman camp stove. Um, we'll get that warming up while we mix our ingredients in the bag. One thing you'll want to look for when you do go to buy your bags, uh, get the, the freezer bags. Don't get the the lighter weight sandwich bags they won't hold up to the heat as well and when you take your omelet out of the boiling water sometimes those cheaper bags will tend to want to fall apart the other thing you want to look for is that it is a bpa free bag i don't know if you can see it on here down here at the bottom but it it does say that it is BPA free, and that's one thing that a lot of people have warned about. Uh, BPA is a cancer causing agent. I'm a little bit hesitant anyway to boil my food in a plastic bag, but I think we'll be fine, especially if we're not doing it for every single meal. Let's get started loading this bag up. Got some nice farm fresh eggs from my father-in-law. Once you get your eggs in, you can add your other ingredients. I've got some sausage here. I like sausage in my omelets. Omelets gotta have, they have to have cheese. In my omelets, you can never have too much cheese. You want to lay the bag down and get get as much air out of that bag as you can. That'll keep it from floating. So we've got our ingredients in here and we'll just want to smash that all up and smush it together. You can put as many eggs in here as you want. Two, three, four. I got two, I got another egg. I think I'm gonna add one more. That's, that's not gonna be much. You can add whatever you want to to these uh, omelets too. I mean, you can throw in some jalapenos, green pepper, onion, mushrooms, whatever you want in your omelet. Our water's starting to get hot. We're going to go ahead and put our bag in. You'll want to cook these for, oh, 12 to 15 minutes. We'll usually do it. Keep them in there for that 12 to 15 minutes. And you can, you can feel them and you can tell if they're still a little bit runny in the middle. I'm going to try to find a lid for this. It's, it's actually just now starting to spit a little bit of rain. So I'll, I'll find a lid that'll help hold some heat in too and see if we can cook them a little bit quicker. Unfortunately, I did not have a lid out here, um, but we can improvise with that and we will just throw another pan on, on top of that pot and it'll work just as well. So that's starting to feel pretty firm. When you squeeze it and it's no longer uh, all soft, then you're probably ready. And there you have it. It is your breakfast burrito in a Ziploc bag. Uh, no mess. 
tastes delicious. Another thing I like to do, if you'd rather have this more as a burrito than an omelet, just get you a soft tortilla shell, lay it down, put your omelet on there, and you could wrap it up, throw your hot sauce on there, and you've got an instant breakfast burrito. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video again. Um, again, I just wanted to share with you what we've done in the past for uh, simple breakfast while we're out camping. Makes life easier. Um, good, clean, quick, high protein breakfast for you. Um, good way to get your camping day started. Thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate it. Have a great day.